Hello, this is Kamal from Extreme Excel Group. Today you will see how to, to uh, send emails through Excel. We'll be using Outlook to send emails. So if you look at here, we have a list of email subjects and uh, messages uh, which we are going to send through in Excel. So first of all, we need to check references. Um, so by default, we have uh, libraries for Visual Basic and Excel and uh, other default libraries. But uh, we are going to use uh, functions for Outlook, so we need to include uh, the object library for Outlook. So once we include it, uh, we start writing our sub procedure. I call it as send email. All right. So now, uh, first of all, we need to declare uh, the object for Outlook application because we are going to use that application. So dem ol app as Outlook dot application. Then we need to uh, declare an object for uh, the mail item that we are going to use here. Uh, so the hierarchy is like this. Uh, at the top level, we need to first uh, open that application, and then after application, we need to create the mail item, and then we'll be sending mm, that email, or we'll be kind of setting different properties of that email. So, so I'm uh, now uh, creating an object here. So set well app equals new output application, and my mail item would be. Uh, I'm just creating an item under it. So well app dot create item, and that mail item. Uh, uh, comes here in the list. Uh, I need to close the bracket like this. So now, uh, once I type OL mail, I will see all the functions or all the uh, stuff related to that particular uh, uh, object. So, like this OL mail dot two dot cc dot subject. I can set various properties, and for message, I can use body. And if I want to send this message, I will be using dot uh, send. Or if I just want to see that message, I'll be using ol mail dot display. So on and so forth. Uh, but now you'll see that uh, I'm using that uh, object name uh, over and again. So instead of, uh, of typing it uh, like this, I can just include a with block and close it here. And then I don't require. Uh, I don't. Uh, need to type it again and again here I can just uh, put a dot and then the property all right so let's fill in these properties so dot two uh, is the uh, f so if I go back to my Excel file uh, I have recipient name and subject and message three properties so if I first hard code it I can directly put uh, it like this then I'll be configuring it according to that uh, file and I'll uh, put that inside a loop so that it repeats itself uh, uh, the number of times uh, as many entries I have in that Excel file. So I have set all the properties. Now, once I uh, create that item, I'll now um, set uh, my mail item and the Outlook uh, application item to nothing. Right now, let's run it. Let's see what happens. Uh, in the background, it will be creating a, uh, an instance for Outlook application. Then it will create a mail object, and it will set two subject and body properties, and then it will display it to me. If I have used dot send, it would have uh, sent that message to that particular uh, recipient. So it is done. Right now, let's close it and let's see how we uh, send it to multiple users, uh, which are mentioned in the list. Uh, it doesn't need anything uh, rocket science. Uh, what I need to do here is, I just need to uh, remove these things. Oh, all right, I just need to put a for loop here on the top. So for i equals two two because my rows are starting from two and these are up to let's say 4 right now but I'll be again making it dynamic later so initially uh, let's say I put it as 4 for i equals 2 to 4 and here I'll close my loop and now I don't uh, I won't be putting uh, uh, these two and these properties directly instead of that I'll be using my counter to pick that value which says i comma 1 dot value for 2 comma 2 dot value for cc uh, subject 
and comma 3 for body now when I run it initially when I would be 2 it will create message for first row and then the value for i would be 3 and it will generate a message for third row and so on and so forth so here if you see it opens up three different messages and that's all now one more thing uh, we won't be hard coding the number of entries because today we know that uh, these are three items so I put two to four but tomorrow user may enter hundred different rows so instead of hard coding I'll be making it generic so because uh, this data is in sheet one so I'll be using sheet one dot cells uh, so to get the last available row I will go to the last row of Excel rows dot count comma one of for first column only and then I'll come back so dot end Excel up dot row it gives me the last cell that is having data in Excel first column right so it will now run for all the rows even if I put uh, data for 10 different uh, 10 more rows it will uh, automatically detect that row and send it for all the mail all the users well this is pretty much uh, uh, so if you have any further questions or confusions uh, regarding outlook uh, email you can uh, write to me at excel.microk at gmail.com goodbye